for offense. Meanwhile, Vitality with the LeBlanc in the mid lane, that should always have priority over Galio. And it's going to be about which one of the Ooh, okay. uh, top slash mid does stay in the jungle. It looks like it was the Jarvan that will stay jungle. Yeah, with Gragas in the top lane here for Cabo Shroud. Of course, one of his most played, actually. He's already got four of them we in the split. We get the tank top lane. <laughs> yeah, well, still a tank top lane. Uh, you know, might see a little bit of AP on him, but that'll be a fun matchup to watch. I'm a huge fan of Jarvan jungle. I'm glad that he's back into the meta. Gangstun's gonna be landed. Now watch out for the seismic shove and where anyone could go. Cabo Shroud getting lower and lower, but Clickerish down to 300 as well. And Cabo not looking for a way out. Finally gonna flash it. The flash to chase, and he's got nowhere to go. Big damage coming up though. And where's the reinforcements of Flash Forward? No shove, but the damage will finally come through and First Blood eventually lands for Svenskeren. And sure, it looks fine with some damage. Oh. And Ignite is on the top there. Jensen down about 200, burning. He's gonna survive this walk away. Oh, Chains, I believe, just missed when he turned Flash Play. Get him into the squad. This could be a very easy duck. And there's no way out for Sneaky. Great kill picked up. The pull almost works on Azaze, but still a nice kill here either. Oh, Zazel will try a hook on ulti comes again. They get the knock up onto a single one. The hook towards a very squishy support as Kikas finds that kill. The Duncan as well. Jensen holds the front line and knock up onto Kragas, but he's pretty tanky. Seismic shove and he jumps back away. Lots of damage onto Kragas. The team fight still goes on. Licorice from the front looking to knock down Jack Troll. One more shot with him in C9 chasing a 4v5 and they can't quite get that damage. Now looking to kick as he's going to walk away also and it's Vitality's turn to win the fight. Such a close fight and out of that death, but look at the collapsing members of Vitality heading through their own jungle. Cabo They're on TP's. the way to mid lane, and Cloud9 are still there! Five versus four, Vitality want to kill him! And they're gonna find a hook, they're gonna find the shotgun on a Sneaky already! Looking for number two, and Zazel's gonna drop as well! Three kills in a row, looking at number four, as Lickers are running backwards, and they're gonna stay alive, but now, their sights are set on Baron. Cloud9 stay too long, and they give up two more kills! Jensen is gonna be back out on the field, though, and he is Galio. That might be enough to deter them. Svenskeren's the only damage left, though. LeBlanc over the wall! Oh, Shane's gonna land back across! Almost gets that kill picked up. He's oh, burning. He got the stopwatch. They're not gonna get the trade, and they're already on the oh, What a kill for Jisuke! And it's gonna be the catch as well. No way out for Jensen. He'll only get the trade, but crucially, Smite is down. They stopped the Baron there for Cloud9 with some big plays from their mid laner. Ford again. Zayn's gonna no hold flash. the front line. Look at him there, and it's gonna be the kill on his fence. Scare the duck towards the back line. Sneak gets away from that one with a 4v5. Could look even better. Vitality cuts it down to three. A knockup. Finally a kill for Cloud9, but can they get the numbers? No. As Sneaky shut down as well. Another comes through. It is only Licorice left alive. Vitality will lose a second player, but they will get the ace, and they have control for Baron. And that's how you set up Baron. As vitality, you walk into the river, you don't. They know they have the engage tool to always force if someone is split pushing. That's why they go for the engage. But here, you can let your support die, and everyone else can step away while your Levant is pushing. But no, Kikis, he jumps back in. Yeah, Kikis, he went for Sneaky there. He actually forced Sneaky's flash. So both marksmen use their flashes in this little skirmish. This will be very important for the next team fight that we do see. That we do see. Uh, coming up once again, but they started it already. It's another battle. The ult's coming across now as well. Sneaky should stay alive pretty well against LeBlanc. And now Kikis is on the run away, but Licorice wants to get the ulti. Gets away from the hook. Looking for the re-engage. Can they knock down Cabo Shard? The plasma might help, but a nice explosive cast buys more time, and they will not get that kill. C9 will again slow down the Baron push, but no kills coming through. Scatter team fight here. Jizuke threatening on the top. Comes back to join the squad. There's Hook in the front line. Here comes the fight yet again. C9 wants in. The knockouts look up, and Zazel's gone right away. Galio delivered. How's the fight gonna go? It's 5v4. Stunder and Suzuki trying to get that chase down in the mid lane, but they're not gonna find that kill. He kites away, and a second kill is sure to come through as Jensen will drop. Vitality 2 0. The flash forward kick is staying alive, but does trade his life. 4v3. The push towards Flickrish goes nowhere. Gets blocked off by the Cataclysm, and C9 have to run 3v4 on the map. Oh, now it's Vitality to the side, but we're back in it. Round number 17, Ornold comes in, hits two. But it's a disengage pretty cleanly now. Now watch out as Cloud9 is running. Kickus wants in. There's a big knock of available. Bit of damage there, and Svenskern's down just above 1,000. Yeah, Vitality, no, without the Orn ultimate, that is a huge setup and part of the team fight for Cloud9. So they wanted to take advantage here. Jizuke moving up to the top side. Luckily for C9, they stopped chasing Rush here. Looking for Svenskeren again. He's gonna look for the play. Svenskeren takes some damage. He's got a Galio coming, flashing to stay alive, but that is big damage. Here comes the engage. This is the play they need to have. The knockup lands, and they're gonna find the kill at Jizuke. 
5v4 in the map, and C9 is trying to turn it around. Cloud9 now, five man power play. Let's see if they can do it. Looks like Regate. A hook towards Jensen, but 5v4 could be good. Explosive cast turns it up, and Jensen to the front line still. Licorice holds up as well. Sven scares back in the mix, and his vitality forced to run. Oh. A big blade caller. Will it be the turnaround? C9 is injured. They've got only the ocean to keep themselves healthy, with Top and Hib already dead. They're going to back off, and both big TVs coming top. They have to turn around right now. C9 must defend. One turret's already done. He only gets one. He only gets one. C9 is still around the back. It's just not possible. And C9 will get everything now. They give up top and hip. Do they play for Nexus turrets? Does C9 keep pushing or do they find another lane? The oh. hook almost got Jack Troll. Both supports barely missing hooks right They're there. They're going Cloud for Nexus. Done. This is going to be the team fight to determine everything. The first turret at FHP. When does Vitality pull the trigger? There's still minions. They are still plugging away at the base. And C9 don't want to sit inside that. First turret will fall, but only a single cannon lives. Now the second wave. They're still shepherding. When does Vitality answer? Their base is losing more and more health. Some more poke comes through. Still a minute and a half on the buffs. Here, Here comes go. the push. We the go, Sneaky's alive. He heals. He's still in there. They get the first kill. One for zero. C9 Attila stays alive. They get two for zero. Cabo Shard's burning down. They might have it, but Attila tries to turn it around. But it's an open nexus. C9 makes the comeback happen. Are you serious? What a game! Insanity on the rift.